Kendall. Kendall! Can you hear me? Hang on, Kendall. They're coming. Just hang on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What's that here? Kendall. Open the damn cell. Back up. What did you do to her? Kendall. Yes, sir. Kendall, open your eyes. You open this door, Ray, so I can help her. How do I know you didn't cause this? You out of your mind. She was gasping for air, and then she collapsed. Would you at least check her breathing, damn it? I can't feel the pulse right now. I'm barely getting anything here. No. Okay, I'm telling you, if you don't open this door right now, she's gonna die. Jesse, please. Okay, Kendall, hang in the mask. Come on. Hang in there. Kendall, can you hear me? Hang in there. Oh, pulse is really weak. We're losing her. I'm begging you. Save her. Please. Okay, help me lay her flat. Okay. All right, Kendall, hang in there. All right. Come on, Kendall. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. Thank God. She's back. Greenlee and I will get her to the hospital. He gets back to his cell. Whoa, 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 shouldn't David come along? What if something happens along the way? Jesse! All right, all right. Listen, here, we'll get her to the car. You ride along with your personal guard, okay? Come on. Here we go. All right. What happened? She came to visit me in jail. She was in distress, had trouble breathing, respiratory arrest, she collapsed. For how long? Just a few minutes, I resuscitated her. She's breathing on her own right now, but we need to restart pulmonary therapy right away. Okay, I need a nurse, get a line in, D5W. I want some gases on her now while she's still in room air. Bring her in here. Come on. How is she? Oh, no, no words yet. Oh, God. How's that foot? Um, uh, it's fine. It's not important right now. Okay. So, what was Kendall at Fusion? Was she working too hard? No, she was at the jail. What? With David. What? Did, did, did you... Why? Why on earth would you Actually, it turned out to be a really good thing. If David hadn't been there, she might not have made it to the hospital. Her lungs are still very wet. She's going to need more antibiotic. There you go. Thanks. But I got this. Look, I may be a little weak, but I can still treat the patient. No, you can't. You need to leave. Now. I, I, I'm not ready for the surgery. No, I don't think you understand. If you don't do this, you can die. You can't push me out. I own this hospital. Now, if you'll excuse me... You have me. no medical license. What does that matter? I just saved her life. Because no one else was there. That's not the case anymore. What is this? You trying to impress me to show off? Listen, if I had it my way... Say, go ahead. But well, one of your friends from around here walks in on you treating Kendall. You could end up in prison. Permanent. It's time to go, Hayward. Hey, look, I'm in the middle of something here. Not anymore. Van is almost here. You're still going to prison tonight. Can I, can I get you some tea? Hey, hey. I, I was visiting a sick parishioner when I heard about Kendall. How is she? No news yet. Uh, Mom, Uncle Jack, you remember Reverend Torres? Yes, of course. Rick, excuse me. Please, nice come to Ricky. see you again. Kendall has told us how supportive you've been. We were very grateful. Anything I can do. So, what happened? Uh, come with me to the cafeteria. I'll fill you in. Okay. Jack Kendall was with David when she collapsed. Maybe he confronted her about shooting him. You ought to be playing the last card he has in his hand. I doubt that. Well, I have to find out. Because if he did this to... Excuse me, damn doctor, who is she? Stable, for the moment. Now, is this a relapse of her pneumonia? That's part of it. But we've discovered something else. Something more serious. Weakness in the lower part of her aorta. Wait, wait, wait. Define weakness. It's ballooning outward. Uh, are, you, are you saying that it could burst? We have some further testing to do, but if I'm right, it's expanding. An aortic abdominal aneurysm. Oh, my God. Well, can you help her? With surgery, we can fix the threat. We've already booked an OR. But we have to move. It could burst at any time. Well, then do it. And then don't let that happen. What are her chances? A ruptured aortic aneurysm is fatal 60% of the time. Well, then what are you waiting for? Do the surgery. We've already booked the operating room. Well, the, uh, what then? Is there some other problem? She's awake. Go talk to her. Let me know if you think she's up for this. What do you mean? 
I mean, she's been blowing off doctor's appointments. Kendall's attitude about her health is... <sighs> Talk to her. Attitude is important. I can perform the surgery perfectly, but after that, she's going to have to work, too. They're prepping her for surgery now. I'll be back to check in on her. What if David did tell Kendall about the shooting? And if he didn't, I can't tell her, not now. The only important thing right now is that she get through this surgery. I know. Look, she's been having additional visions of David lately, more and more and more, and now my voice is coming into it. I mean, she's getting very, very close. A sight, a sound, anything could just put her over the edge and... Oh, take the call. I'm going to go see Kendall. Well, the call can... Wait. No. Dr. Hayward will not be part of this. He's waiting to be transferred to prison. But he's shouting about owning the hospital, firing everyone if he doesn't get to see Kendall Slater. Did your mother leave already? My mother was never here. It's weird. I told her you wanted to see her. I hate to say it, but this is what you get for blowing me off. Not all women find you irresistible. I'm serious, Kendall. You have an aneurysm in your aorta. It's very serious. We can fix the problem with surgery. I've already booked the operating room. Then cancel it. I, I, I'm not ready for the surgery. No, I don't think you understand. If you don't do this, you could die. Are you here to thank me for saving Kendall's life? Again? May I have a moment to express my gratitude? Be careful getting too close. I'll be right here. Let's have it, Erica. Lay all that gratitude on me. Some people are saying that you are the reason Kendall collapsed. Don't believe everything you hear. As you know, there are a lot of false stories around. Why did you ask Kendall to come and see you? I just thought it would be a nice reminder to you of the stakes. Did you say something to her? No. But that doesn't mean I won't. I'm not a miracle worker, David. I'm not expecting miracles, Erica. I just want you to talk to the governor. Tick tock, Erica. I'm still in these cuffs. And Kendall is so close by. Don't I get any time to think about this? Every minute we wait puts you at greater risk. Okay. Well, can I at least see my kids first? I'm sorry. Please, it, it'll just be a little while. You can give me medication or something to, no, no. to, to Unfortunately, help Unfortunately, there's not a magic pill that can fix this. Please. Please, I just lost my husband. I need time to, to heal You'll... and rest and be with my kids. You'll have that time. But not until we fix the aneurysm. Listen, Kendall. I know you're afraid of the surgery. But nobody's better than me. I'm not. I just miss him. I just miss Zach. I miss Zach so much. It's like there's this... There's this wave that keeps coming over me and it's trying to pull me under and I can't, I can't get out, but I'm fighting it. I'm, I'm, I'm doing everything I can. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing myself into everything I can, but nothing works. Every night, I climb into bed alone. Every morning, I still wake up alone. And that's how it's always going to be. I know you're grieving, but is there something more going on here? What do you mean? I mean, do you want to live? Now you need to keep this in mind, Erica. I was behind bars and I still managed to get to Kendall. It saved her life. That was the last time you will ever see her. Ever is a very long time. Now, your daughter still needs surgery. 
And I would hate to see what would happen if she was being rolled down to the OR and she suddenly realized that she was the one who shot me. That her dear devoted mother had been lying to her all this time. Now that would be quite a shock for a woman who already has a weakened heart, don't you think? Don't you go anywhere near my daughter. Trying to tell me you're giving up? You don't want to live anymore? What I want is to have my life back. I need Zach. I need Zach. My boys need Zach. And you, Kendall. They need you. Don't you think I know that? That's what's making this whole thing so hard. I have lost my husband. And now there are these, these things floating around in my head, like parts of a puzzle that I just cannot put back together, all right? So excuse me for not being at my best. Well, that's more like it. What? Zach told me all about you. He told me you never gave up, never backed down. Or feisty as hell. Oh, get angry, Kendall. Show some fight. Because that may be the only thing that saves your life. 